going to the moon to stay by 2024. And this is how. When NASA produced this video about its new mission to the moon, it made sense to have Canadian actor William Shatner narrate it. But this new mission is not fiction. It is real, and Canadians are going to play a big part in it. Mike Armstrong on Canada's role in the Lunar Gateway. One, it has been 48 years this week since humans last went to the moon. This was Apollo 17 leaving the lunar surface. Jessica Watkins. Well, NASA unveiled its astronaut team last week that'll head back to the moon as part of the Artemis missions. The Canadian Space Agency's announcement Tuesday was considerably less flashy. Merci, Lisa. It was over a Zoom call, but no less important. The next NASA mission to the moon will have an astronaut with a Canadian flag on his or her shoulder. Canada will join the U.S. on the first crewed mission to the moon since the Apollo mission. Launching east from Kennedy Space Center. Now, that space first space mission space set for 2023 won't land on the lunar surface. Artemis 2's 10-day flight will orbit the moon, testing procedures and equipment for later missions that will land. But it would make Canada only the second country to have an astronaut ever have this view, looking back at Earth. Yeah, to, to be honest, I'm totally blown away by this announcement. Gordon Ozinski is the director of Western University's Institute for Earth and Space Exploration. He says the ticket Canada punched is not one he or many other observers expected. Many of us were thinking that, you know, the first few missions, uh, including Artemis II, which is where the Canadian was selected, would be just all U.S. astronauts. Canada's seat on that trip and another later down the road come in return for its contribution to the Lunar Gateway. It's an international collaboration led by the U.S. to set up a space station in orbit around the moon. Canada's contributing a Canadarm3. I mean, there's definitely a lot of work to be done. Now, it hasn't been decided which of Canada's four active astronauts will be in the seat that heads to the moon. But if you consider two of them only graduated from astronaut school this year and one has already been to space, the odds are with Jeremy Hansen, waiting 11 years and counting. Well, I, you know, it's one of those things. Like, I, I just, I don't know at this point. On top of everything else it takes to be an astronaut, patience is another. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.